Lev here from Agilite. Today I want to show you my personal pincer system. So what I have here is the pincer placard. I have the second layer admin pouch and on it I have the pincer pistol pouch. So what I got here is a nice complete setup relatively slim while giving me a lot of carrying capacity and organization. So let's let's just dive right into it, right? So the base of it, obviously, as you know, is the pincer placard 556. Um, attached to it is the second layer admin pouch. So what is this admin pouch? So the idea here was to give a second layer, which gives you organization and the ability to mount different things on it. And the way we did it is by utilizing these slits that are built in to the polymer part of the pincer. There's also slits that go through the pincer in the middle. Um, and the idea there was to make it forward compatible when we designed it with whatever pouch we want to put on the front. So the first one we're coming out with here is the second layer admin. So you have this nice medium sized admin over here. This is a great spot for putting things you want easy access to throughout the day um, and for organizing small things. So to keep it slim, what I usually keep in here, right now I have a small right in the rain. I happen to have a, a headlamp in here. I don't usually keep this in here during the day. Usually what I'll do is I'll have this like down in the six pack or something during the day, but, but then at night when I'm actually using it and I'm taking it on, taking it off or something, I'll keep it over here for quicker access. Um, there's a tether over here, by the way, so that if you want to tether something into here, you have that option. Um, over here in the front, I have some string and some of these little clips. This is great for when I go to Miluim and I get, uh, I sign on to some night vision devices or something. So I, what I do is I, I usually, before we go to the field, I'll cut a section of this and I'll tie a tether and tether it onto my gear um, because I want to go home after me doing and not um, be in court or something uh, for losing some crazy expensive uh, piece of gear. So over here in this compartment, this is a great place for really small stuff. So what I have in here is some band-aids, uh, ibuprofen for uh, that time of the month. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So on the front, of course, you have a little bit of Velcro, great place to put an identifier. You have a lot of great places to organize things. There are these little elastic loops, great place to organize Sharpie, scissors for cutting off earlobes and small toes. And it's just gonna be a great little addition overall to give you a little bit more admin stuff on the front. And now on the sides, what you have is two micro molly wings that are a great place for mounting a pouch this size. So you could put on our pistol pincer pouches, or you could um, put on like a multi-tool pouch that comes with your Letterman or something, or you could keep it bare, or you could um, run rubber bands through it and put on a tourniquet or something. So what I have here is two pincer pistol singles. So what we have here is a pouch that is the little brother of the pincer uh, single. It's the same concept. You have a stiffened element at the top that's a hold open device that creates a flared magwell for re-indexing your magazines quickly and easily with one hand. And it gives you that extra abrasion resistance and durability at the top and throughout the whole pouch. We test these things to a very high level and they're gonna really increase the durability above and beyond any other elastic pouch. So here on this side, I've chosen to Velcro in the flap that comes with it. So this flap comes with every pouch, simple Velcro flap. What you can do here is you can actually put it in and set the height that you want it at. So set it at a height, see if it's right for you. If it's the height you want, good. If not, you can just pop it right back out at that height. So here on this side, you can see I have a multi-tool, right? So what's nice about this pouch is two things. One, it's really easy to get the multi-tool out. You can pop it up from the bottom and grab it. Two, say you want to take it out, use it one-handed, and then put it back away one-handed. There's absolutely no issue re-indexing it just like a magazine and folding that down. By the way, anyone who remembers that I uh, lost my multi-tool, well, I found it. So as far as sizing goes, this is made for double stack 9 mil magazines. Here I have a Smith & Wesson MEP 2.0 magazine, but obviously it works with Glock mags, uh, any SIG mags, FN, any, any standard double stack 9 millimeter magazines. If you have a thinner magazine than that, you might want to throw in these. You might not need to, your preference. These pouches work great on a battle belt. There's a single, there's also the double. The double is a great one for two pistol mags or to put in the back maybe a multi-tool front pistol or maybe a small flashlight. Uh, single, double, they're all great. They work great on a belt and they have micro molly on the back so you can get it to that perfect height. That's it guys, thanks for watching. I wanna give a huge shout out to the TV program for helping out. Everyone who uh, worked on this and helped us out with answers and with uh, input and feedback, you know who you are, thank you. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, stay safe.